Hello and welcome back everybody. Today I'm extremely excited. Whoop 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 because we will be doing something that is like my second favourite thing next to arts and crafts and drawing. It is cooking slash baking. So we are we'll be doing bread art and the bread that I'm using for this is for capture. I am hoping to do a flower theme, so for, if you want to do this, what you will need is the uh, focaccia bread recipe, which is below, and then you will need some veg. I, mine is already prepped and it will not fit on the screen, I've got so much. So this part is all like my greenery, I've got chives, I've got some long sticks of spring onion, I've just got little bits of spring onion, I've got... um basil flowers which would be really cool to just stick onto it like that um i've got some sage i have got some parsley which i could use as like clovers and then i've got some basil so that's that section and then oh i've got a knife there i'll just move that and then this section i've got peppers and i got the small peppers which you can cut into sections like that and they could be like flower heads red yellow orange i've got them and then i've got some tomatoes I've got two that are cut like this, which I could use as flower heads, and I've got some that are just cut like this. And then I've got some red onion cut up. Some cut like this could be flower heads, and then bits like this could just be something else. I've then got, I've got some, I think this is radishes, and then in the middle here, I've got some olives. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to start with a couple of, like, tufts of grass, maybe. Here, right here. Mine is quite thin, but it will rise because it's bread. Well, hopefully it will. But if we did it too thick, it would go quite curved and it would lose its shape. And all the vegetables would just fall off. So, yeah. Oh, look at my first tuft of grass. That looks really good. You guys could do yours portrait, but I'm doing my landscape so it will fit on the screen. Okay, so these basil flowers, I can literally just pop these on whole, like this, and you can literally like, eat it. So I think I'm just going to plop that one there if I just squish it in a bit. Squish, 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 squish. Mmm, that smells so nice, you guys. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to get, I'm going to get one of these chive things cut it to the right length you can stick it onto there and then when it gets onto there get a little snip there we go how lovely and then if i can i've still got some of this chive that's spare from it so if i cut some like that then i could have it like put it underneath. I could have like another flower there. And I want to use this tomato, which with the tomato I just cut it. Like, say if this is my tomato, I just cut it like that. And I've got this little flower head. Oh, adorable! Okay, now I'm going to get one more and just do it there. And that's going to be quite a short one. Okay, and now I'm just going to put these on this and I've invented a new flower. How brilliant is that? Hmm? Instead of using a chive stalk, I will use a spring onion stalk. Yeah. And I'm just going to cut this to the right height if I have it bend like that. Put that much off. Do it near there. Slip it in. That looks really good. Okay. Now I get. I'm going to use. I think I've already got red, so I might use a bit of yellow this time. I'm cutting the red bit off the outside of the cup 
of the radish so now it's just that white bit. I've cut it off and now what I need to do is just bring it around. It's like on the edge of the bit basically. I need to see if there's a pepper somewhere with this. I've got this one. Okay, now I just need to put this around it. <gasps> Yay! I've invented yet another another flower. Chive stalk. Okay, I just use my measuring skills. Hopefully, this is the right length. Yep. Okay, just stick that on there. Wonderful. Okay, I need to have a little one going up there, and it's only going to be like a small flower. How's that look? I'm going to eat this bit of tomato. Mmm, so nice and sweet. Yummy. Okay. So there's that, which means I need to make a stalk for it. I'm going to use a basil stalk. Can you eat basil stalks? Let me just try it and find out. Yeah, it tastes alright. Doesn't exactly taste of basil, but you know. Okay. So I can just come in on that as if it's joining up off that. You can see the different colours of like green. I want to make like a massive flower like, right at the top there. On this flower, I want to do like leaves coming out of it. Okay, I've got my olives. On here which i'm just going to put at the top you guys will probably not be able to see and i'm just going to do a few of these sticking out like little petals last one oh last one oh my gosh tomatoes are so slippery there we go oh that is like the major flower if i just give you guys a close-up that is so yummy. You can see all the detail in it. Okay, I'll do like a super close up. I think I should use another one of these. Because I do have two and it does give it quite a nice effect. But first of all, I need to put the stalk on that. So let me just move this excess tomato off. When I say move, I mean eat. Okay. Put this on. I need to get a stalk. I think I should use this one because it's quite like a big fat stalk so it could like go with the massive flower. So if I just use my measuring skills. Perfect. Perfect indeed. Okay, I'll add leaves to that but first of all I want to put this on. I just want to make it slightly smaller, then it won't be touching that other bit far. If I just cut that little end bit off, stick it onto there. Perfect. Okay, now I can move it on properly. That looks wonderful. Okay, now I need to do the leaves on here. Oh, that's so smooth, dude. Put a little leaf there. Put a little leaf there. Put a little leaf there. Okay, now move on to the sage leaves. Uh, well, these aren't really sticky. And then my basil. Whoa, that looks so good. That looks so realistic. I'll bring it up close. Those are all my different leaves on it. Okay. I'm going to add a few details now. I think I should add a sun maybe in this corner. And 
yeah, I think I should do this using yellow and orange peppers. That looks so cool. Now I'm just going to go over a bit of finishing touches, maybe. I'm just going to think what I can do. Maybe I could... Hmm. I think I should add more flowers. My hands are really oily from touching this oily thing. Okay, this looks really good. Um, is there anything else I could do? I might get some parsley and just put it on. Like, wait a second. Let me just cut this off. And then just put it on there. Yeah, that looks good. Um, are there any other herbs that I could use to like put on like that? Sorry, guys, I'm just snapping some basil off. Put that on there. Make me need to use basil. Okay, um, anything else? Have a quick check. This one. On there. I think I should have another thing going on there and I can have another tomato flower because I did only have two in there. I can like use them both so maybe worth using them because it would be nice. Okay that looks really really good so colourful and make sure if you guys are using different vegetables to me make sure they are vibrant because they will slightly change colour in the oven and get a bit brownish so yeah I think that's done and ready to bake I'm going to just pop it in the oven from the instructions in the recipe which will be below so yeah you guys check that out if you need to well you will have to because otherwise you won't be able to make it but yes and i will brush it in oil before i put it in the oven and yeah see you when it's ready guys it's finished just look at it it's so wonderful it's cooked and it looks gorgeous so nice and the um bread is nice and brown and I also wanted to show you guys my brother's version. So he did his um, um, portrait. So because it's portrait, I won't be able to fit it in. So I'm just going to show you from the bottom. So he's got some soil and some grass. And then I think that was supposed to be like a really mini bush. And then he's got flowers. And he's got a sun as well. And he also put a butterfly on, which is really nice. So, yeah, very cute. So, yeah, that's really pretty. I'll put one there. You can't see it all, but... And then I'll put one there. So pretty. So, this one's mine. I'll do a close-up. You can see the bread, it looks so gorgeous. So yummy. And then, again, my brother's close up of this. So good. So yeah. That is mine and my brother's focaccia bread art. The recipe is below, so check that out if you want to make this. Um, remember to put dimples and olive oil before you start putting the vegetables on. It's enough to make two. I made it the night before, or should I say the day before. I got it out 30 minutes before use, so it becomes room temperature. And when I, after I proved it, I put it on a tray. I put the dough on a tray um, and then covered it in cling film and put it in the fridge overnight. So yeah, that's how I did it. I hope it inspired you to make your own focaccia bread art. 
um, if you were to go and search on Google or Pinterest, you will see so many cool ideas. And I decided to do it because it's a new trend. It's going round, haven't you heard? So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and bye.